Good morning, and welcome to a cold, cold, windy, snowy morning on the hill. These guys are seven weeks and two days old. We put all of them out here together, and the two little ones, the smallest two, have not been with the group because they were just too small and we knew that they would pick on them constantly. So we're hoping we can get through this video and not have to take them away and we can get through the whole thing. So Vanessa's out here as my standby in case they start to chew on him. Um, so, and the little guy says, I'm freezing and went out of here. I think he's scared of the big guys. They haven't seen him for a week. Uh, the little tiny salt and pepper male down here that's doing all the crying. He has four pounds, 10 ounces today. And he does not have a collar on. So that's him standing here begging me to get him out of this cold. There he goes, he's gonna take off and go play. The little tiny black female is out there. Uh, here she comes. So we'll do her too in case they get to picking on her and we have to take her out and I can't find her. She's chasing everybody, so she's like, there I am. She has no collar on. And she's up to, oh my goodness, three pounds, 7.5. All right, for the sake of everybody else hearing this, I'm gonna have Vanessa take this little guy out. He is not liking it at all. So if you wanna pull him out, that'd be fine. Okay, the little female is still hanging on her own in there. And uh, nobody's bothering her yet. This one's smelling her going, I don't remember you, where'd you come from? Like I say, it's been at least a week since they've seen their siblings because we don't put them together. Up, oh, she's going to say I'm going to pick on her. So I'm going to start down through here, and I think Vanessa's going to end up taking this little female too because they're going to pick on her. The purple collar, who's the one that's really picking at her, um, we gave her a haircut this morning. I held out till this morning, and she's probably freezing out here. But she's right there taking off after everybody, and the little black one is right in the midst of it. She says, I'm going to get him too. Nope, oh, somebody's got her down. Two for one doesn't get it. The purple one is back here in the back. You can see that purple collar. So she's got her hair cut, and the purple collar weighs five pounds, 7.5 ounces as of today. Uh, let's see, the black one, no, let's go in, in order. The neon pink collared female, which is ours, uh, she just dashed across the front. She's six pounds, 12.5, and the fuzzy black male he's the only one out here without a haircut there he is bouncing around he is six pounds 12.5 ounces today this is their first day too with snow and ice so they don't seem to really give a hoot but it is cold i'll tell you what we got about a 20 mile an hour wind up here on this hill and i'm cold uh the royal blue collar male is staying here he's playing with the red ball he weighs six pounds 6.5 the red collar male who is over here in the corner he's the merle and you want to do me a favor will you get that little girl out i don't want him picking on her um he's got the red collar right here underneath me he says oh wait wait we want to get her <laughs> we're going to take them back in where those two can get warm again they're half the size of these and not as tough um so the red collar male is six pounds 8.5 ounces and he is like twirling oops he just got trashed he's doing super super good and the neon orange collar which is right here in front of us he's the salt and pepper oh he's going to tear the ear off the black one but the black one's going to go after him and get him he says don't do that to me buddy i'm bigger than you at least with hair on him he is <laughs> So the orange collar is six pounds, five ounces. And that should be it on weights and collar colors. This little female over here, the purple collar one has a leaf. She says, what is this thing? They are having a blast. Snow doesn't phase them at all. All right, for some reason, my camera shut off a second ago after we did the orange puppy. So we're gonna leave them out here for about a half an hour. We're gonna let them play till they start to slow down and then they're coming in so oh, they're going in next week for their spay neuters uh they're doing really really good they've been with in the house with us uh we've been working on no bark no bite no lick and they've really done well with it i mean they're they're noisy they're schnauzers so they're a little bit tougher to work with than a schnoodle 
Um, they're a little bit more bullheaded than a schnoodle. So, oh, this one's eating rocks. So the orange collar one is a rock lover. He's down here, says these are the best things to chew on. Don't bother me, people. I'm eating a rock. Puppies are going to eat, and I get phone calls about this all the time. Sticks and rocks and leaves and rabbit poop and sometimes their own poop, which is totally disgusting. Um, but other than that, it's a puppy. You know, so long as you don't have something around that can make them sick or a poisonous plant, you're good. But don't be panicky when they eat everything. Um, it's amazing. These are like little garbage cans on four feet. They're also like little piranhas on four feet. So make sure nipping and biting of your hands has got to be stopped the first two days you are home. So you've got to impress that fact with them. Uh, do not tolerate it whatsoever because they're not doing it lovingly to you. They are trying to figure out if they can be your boss. And if you let them do it, they will be your boss. Schnauzers are pure terriers. They're bullheaded. They're stubborn. Um, if you are not tough on these guys for the first two months, you're going to pay for the next year. So the first two months, I always tell people, really, really sets the stage for the rest of their life. If they learn their rules, boundaries, and limitations, do not feel bad that you uh, put this puppy in a crate and go to work. I have a family that emailed me this weekend. They're getting rid of their puppy after six months because their work schedule has changed and now the dog has to be in the crate during the day while they work and they think it's inhumane. Let me tell you what, for centuries, I shouldn't say centuries, for the last hundred years, anybody that's had a dog, um, even my grandparents that had a dog told me that they, they put it in lockdown when they were not playing with it. I raised all of our dogs in a kennel crate. I worked a full-time job when my kids were little. Um, that dog will be fine. Give it something new to do each day. Do not feel guilty you're leaving it. Do not feel like you have to put it in daycare for Pete's sake. Um, it's an extra expense. It also teaches your dog to be crazy because they put it in a group situation sometimes where they're just footloose and fancy free with no regulations for the day except play, play, play. So when you get them home, it's kind of like sending your kid to your ex-husband's and you get him back after a weekend and it takes you a week and a half to change him back to the way he was. So uh, really, really think about daycare. Boarding your dog is different than daycare. If you're going to travel and you need to board, make sure you ask questions about boarding. Find out, do you have general play time? Do you take the dog out and walk it three times a day? Um, do you put it in a pen out the side so it can run and do some exercising by itself? So you want it to stay as close to your normal family's home schedule as you can. So do not feel guilty if you work and this puppy is in a crate. Many, many hundreds of thousands of families across the U.S. work and have a dog. And once you get through that first year of training, sure, if you've done a good job on training, your dog can be loose. You can leave it in your home when you go away. But you got to go through the training part first. So just kind of uh, one of my pet peeves about people to get rid of dogs that um, give up on training and want to leave it loose and know they can't and their life changed and so anyway I'm going to quit get off my soapbox um, if we are shipping you your puppy and I think everybody's coming to get them I can't remember but just in case um, make sure even if you're coming and you're coming a long distance bring a crate you are going to want to stop and go to the bathroom you're going to want to go in the restaurant and go to eat do not feel bad you're going to leave the dog in a crate and go in the restaurant for Pete's sake, go have lunch. The dog's in a crate. It will be fine. Lock your door. Uh, in this cold weather, you're fine. You're not going to, uh, hopefully the sun will warm the car up a little bit. If it's a super sunny day and no wind and you want to crack a window, that's great. But your dog will be fine. Um, you're not going to want to stop at roadside rest or Burger Kings or McDonald's. And, oh, I see we found a stick back here. Yep, the sticks are great fun. The pink one and the blue, uh, the pink one and the red one have a stick back there. Um, so when you're traveling, make sure you bring a small trash bag, some wet wipes, 
some clean newspaper and please ask me when you come for free paper. I buy it by the ton from the newspaper companies. So I have newspaper without the print on it and I will be more than glad to give you some. I have a lot of small rolls that I don't use that I will be more than glad to give you. So you don't have to bring newspaper. I have that. Um, also, let's see what else can I tell you. Don't forget to ask me. Um, I don't have Schnauzer t-shirts, but you're more than welcome to have a couple Schnoodle t-shirts. I'm really sorry, but we don't sell enough Schnauzer puppies to do Schnauzer t-shirts. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? The day you come, the guys are going to have a fresh bath. Toenails are going to be clipped. They're going to have, if you're not going to do your own grooming, let me know ahead of time. Uh, text me and say, hey, groom my Schnauzer puppy before I come. That way, uh, it saves you about 20 minutes of me grooming it for you. But I will have it groomed, and I will show you absolutely what you should look at, look for from your groomer with your puppy. Um, that way, you don't have a groomer that kind of doesn't feel like doing something that day, and you're the one that pays for the grooming, and you didn't get it all done. So make sure you ask me about that. Um, golly, what else can I think of? Well, I have a lot we can talk about when you come. Please make sure you watch your videos that I sent you. Um, it will save so much time. Write your questions down ahead of time that I didn't ask for you. Um, and I will be more than glad to answer any questions you have and spend as much time as we need. So I look forward to seeing all of you soon. If you have any questions, please give me a call. And have a safe travels wherever you're coming from. When you come to my house, I have a large parking lot out back. You're going to see employees' cars when you first come up the driveway by a black trailer. Don't park there. Come on over by the woods. I have a gray Nissan van, and my license plate says Schnoodle. Park by my van, and the puppies are actually in the house with us by the small door where the golf cart is. And uh, plenty of parking. You don't have to worry about parking behind anybody. And... That way you don't have to carry everything clear across this parking lot to where the employees park. You can park right up here by the door. Um, that way if it's really yucky weather or something, it's easy access inside. So, hope you enjoyed their video. They've been a great group to have. Um, super nice babies. And I hope you enjoy them as much as we have. And we'll see you soon.